Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Krish and I'm a fourth year medical student currently studying at the University of Nottingham. Today's video is a very highly requested video. So on this channel, now I'm bringing you a brand new series of how to make Anki flashcards. There will be tons of videos on tutorials on how to make flashcards themselves and how to use the software. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. But I'm all the money feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack. So Anki itself is a free and open source flashcard program which utilizes spaced repetition. It can be used on any platform, but it's the easiest to make flashcards on a desktop or a laptop computer, either running Windows or Mac. The way the brain works is that once you learn something, you will tend to forget it after a couple of days. Hundreds of studies have shown that spacing out repeated encounters with this material over time produces superior long-term learning compared with typical massed repetitions, also known as your normal revision. A metaphor for this is that the brain is like a bag of cement with a very small hole in the bottom. You put new knowledge in and old knowledge comes out, the old cement comes out. So every time you do spaced repetition, you're pouring water into the bag, which is making the cement stronger and stronger so this is what spaced repetition does to you. It makes your memories and your knowledge stronger and more robust. Anki itself utilizes an intelligent algorithm, which makes you see certain cards at certain times, depending on how difficult you found it to last recall. It's quite hard to explain and quite hard to set up. So that's what these videos are all about. So stay tuned for this playlist and I'll give you a step-by-step -step method to use Anki. Before we start with this section, 73% of you still aren't subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and press the bell notification next to it. I promise you won't regret it and you're gonna love my future Anki videos. I'm also planning some vlog style videos, so stay tuned for those. Pull up, pull up, silent, can't pre me. I'm a nightman. In my opinion, Anki is a fantastic way to memorize details. If you're on a course which requires memorization of details, such as history, languages, medicine, science, Anki is definitely the way to go. It's Great for students, but it's also great for people in the workplace, especially doctors. It helps you remember rather than forget what you've just learned. If you are an earlier student, so GCSEs or A-levels, then it maybe is not necessary at your stage. However, learning to use a powerful software like Anki can really help you in terms of your future revision. One thing that school does not teach you is how to revise. So this is something that you can learn yourself from my videos. Pull up, pull up, silent, can't pre me. I'm a nightman, AC. So there are a few different alternatives to Anki in terms of flashcards. The first, obviously, being the traditional paper flashcard. The disadvantage of this is that it costs money to buy the flashcards itself, and it takes a lot of time and effort to write out with a pen and a paper individual flashcards. And what takes even more effort is to draw diagrams. This is almost impossible unless you're fantastic at art, which I personally am not. It's also worse since there's no algorithm built into paper flashcards. In order to schedule them to do spaced repetition, you have got to use another calendar and schedule it yourself. The next alternative to Anki is probably the most famous and most popular one. That would be the popular website called Quizlet. Quizlet is something that I don't have too much experience with, but from what I've heard and from what I've seen so far, it does have a much nicer interface and it kind of gamifies the flashcard experience. So it turns your learning into more of a game rather than straight revision. However, the disadvantage for this is that for the spaced repetition algorithm, you have to pay for the monthly premium subscription. Another disadvantage of Quizlet is that it doesn't have any add-ons and it's very difficult to insert diagrams and pictures, whereas Anki has a whole host of add-ons to customize your experience. So in this series, I will discuss some basic add-ons which may play a large role in how you use your own personal Anki setup. Pull up, pull up, silent, can't pre me. I'm a nightman. So guys, there's three main ways to primarily use Anki. There's a desktop and laptop app. There's the iOS and Android app. And there's the Anki web web page. So you may be thinking, if I can use the Anki web website, why would I need to download it as an app? Well, the main reason is for deck management and card creation. Deck management and card creation is so much easier on a laptop and using keyboard shortcuts is an absolute game changer. For me, the iOS and Android apps, as well as the Anki web app, are perfect to study when on the go. So now let's get on installing this app. 
for, to install this, you need an, either a Windows 7 or newer computer or a Mac OS 10.10 computer or Yosemite. To find this out, you can press the Apple logo and check about this Mac and it will show you the version right there. Right, so let's go on to the Anki web website. So type in Anki into Google and the first one that comes up is an apps.ankiweb.net. This is the one you want to click on. So you click on this one and there's a download button right here. So I'm going to click the download button and now you want to click on the latest stable release. Up here, you can choose which operating system you want to install it on. iPhone and Android, you click this side, Windows over here and Mac over here. So I'm going to install the Mac version. Okay, so we've downloaded the Anki app. Now I'm going to install it like I would install any other app. Double click it, skip all of this. And then you get this whole folder thing. You want to drag Anki into your applications folder. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to reinstall it. I'm just going to close it there. Right, so now I've installed Anki, I'm going to open the app and show you some of the settings that need to be changed. So I'm going to open my Anki app. As you can see here, I already have a bunch of decks. This is some of the studying that I've done before and I've got some other stuff which you may not have initially. These are some add-ons. Don't worry about that for now. We'll go through that later. Pull up, pull up, silent, can't pre me. I'm a nightman, AC. So I'm gonna start by clicking on the top bar. You'll see something that says Anki and then you can press preferences. When you're in preferences, you can pause the video here and copy these settings into your own Anki app. Now let's move on to the second tab, which is scheduling. This is quite important as it adjusts your Anki algorithm and when it will show you different cards. So this is the default uh, settings that I've got it on. I changed it the next day starts to four hours past midnight because I do have a tendency to study quite late past midnight and I want that to count for the same day. I don't reckon I study past 4 a.m. much, so I count 4 a.m. as the start of the new day. So this is the network settings. These are kind of not that important. And these are just the standard settings and backups as well. Don't want freebies. SJWs can't PC me. Now let's look at the different add-ons. If you click on the toolbar where it says tools, you can press add-ons or you can press shift command and A to access your add-ons tab. You can see here that I've got four different add-ons. I've got the God mode add-on, image occlusion add-on, the review heat map add-on and the speed focus mode add-on. The God mode add-on just adds some more keyboard shortcuts into your arsenal. This means that when you're creating a certain type of flashcard called the closed deletion flashcard, you can use keyboard shortcuts and it becomes a lot easier. I'll talk about the types of flashcards a bit later on in this video. The second add-on that I've got is called Image Occlusion Enhanced. Now this add-on lets you create a different type of flashcard which I use for my anatomy and for diagrams. I'll talk about those flashcards later on in the video as well, but what I have is that there's a diagram and this add-on lets me blank out certain parts of a diagram. The third add-on is the review heat map, which is this map down below. It just shows you when you've been studying Anki and it shows you your streak of how many days you've been studying it. Ignore the fact that I've got a zero day streak at the moment, but soon I'll be back on my studying grind. The last add-on that I've got is a speed focus mode add-on. What this will do is when you're going through your flashcards, it will automatically play an alert after a set number of seconds and then it can also automatically show the answer after a set number of seconds as well. This is good for zooming through your flashcards and doing them extremely quickly. What I say, SMD, please didn't do nothing last time, man. See, hey. So there's a few different types of flashcards that I personally tend to use. The first type is the basic question and answer card type. This is the default card type in Anki. Here is an example of one of these cards. I use this type for questions which have simple one word answers. And if you study medicine, you'll know that this simply is not the case most of the time. The second type of flashcard is the close deletion card. This is basically like a fill in the blanks card. I primarily use these cards and just copy and paste my notes into a card and blank out the keywords. Here is an example. I know this looks like a massive card, but what I've done here is that I've taken a section about a certain STI and just blanked out all the relevant keywords. Each time Anki asks me the question, it gives me a different keyword from that card. The final type of card is an image occlusion card, which is where the labels are hidden. Here is an anatomy example of it. What I do is I take a screenshot from the textbook or from Google Images and then cover up the labels so that in every card I have to guess one certain label from 
the actual diagram. I also rarely use this for tables in textbooks. So when there's a table and I have to memorize certain columns, I can use these flashcards to blank out a certain cell within the table. Pull up, pull up, silent, can't pre me. I'm a nightman. So that concludes this first ever Anki tutorial on my channel. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and press the subscribe button and stick around for more content. In the next video, I will be showing you how I personally create my own flashcards. And then the video after that, I'll show you how I go through the flashcards. So make sure to stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Or a game boy color, I'm PC, you can take part.